Hello, welcome to my channel. Of course, I'm here to tell y'all another dream I had. I had this one like two days ago, two, maybe three days ago, but I'm here to share it with y'all. Um, yeah, um, I hope a lot of people watch this because I want as many people as possible to see my dreams. And I know my hair looks crazy. Almost every video, no matter if I brush it, put water in it, or, you know, just take a shower. My hair usually looks funny in these videos. I like don't know. I just have that hair. No matter how many times I brush it, it just looks like unbrushed. So, just you're gonna have to deal with my messy hair if you watch my videos. So, um, I'm here to tell you a new dream, like I said. So, in this dream, I'm just gonna get to into the dream. Uh, in this dream, uh, I was with it was me, my sisters, and my mom, and we were walking to these parade floats. And I remember there was like seven of them. I believe there were seven. Um. And we're looking, and my mom is just telling me, she was like, one of these floats has the door to heaven. And they were like, if you pick the wrong float, you won't make it to heaven. So we're looking at the float, and I'm, we're just like, we want to pick the right float, because like, who would not want to be in heaven, you know? So we're looking at these floats, and I notice, I notice that one of these floats is Christmas. And I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, any person that believes in God and stuff would know that Christmas is a false holiday. And I was kind of looking at all the other floats and they were biblical holidays. But the one that stood out to me was the Christmas one because like Christmas is not a biblical holiday. And if these floats were made to find the door to heaven, why would Christmas be here? Because I'm just telling myself like Christmas is not a biblical holiday. Why would Christmas be here? So I decided to get on the Christmas float because I'm like Christmas is not a biblical holiday. And anyone that knows God or anything will know that Christmas is not a biblical holiday. So I get on the float that um, is Christmas themed because I believe that that's the one that has the door to heaven because I'm like Christmas is not a biblical holiday and it's really weird that they would have a Christmas themed float. So I get on the Christmas um, float and um, my family doesn't get on the same float as me because they think that that's too easy and they're like why would God make it too well? so obvious? They just believe that that's way too obvious and why would God make it so obvious you know? So they decide to get on a different float. And um, in my dream, they just, the reason they didn't want to get on the Christmas float because they just believed that that was way too obvious. And they're like, why would God make it so obvious? You know? So, so I'm on this Christmas float and I open the door on it and it was the door to heaven. And I, and I hear my family in the background and they're like, I hear my family in the background, and they're like, Lauren, Lauren, you picked the right float. You're going to be in heaven. Like, they're super excited for me. Like, they're almost like tears of joy. They're super excited for me. So I open the door, and um, I enter it, and it's like, it like kind of is like I'm in the future. Like, I've been in heaven for a while already. It's like I've already been in heaven for a while. So in case you don't know, this is important to know. My sister is currently pregnant. Um, we still do not know if it's a boy or girl, but she's currently pregnant, which is important for the continue of the dream. So, um, in my dream, like I said, it's like I've already been in heaven for like a month or two. It's like I've already been there a while. It's like I've already been in heaven for like a month or two. So, apparently in heaven, it wasn't like, it wasn't like you had your own house exactly. Like you had a house, but it was like everybody had their own house. And it wasn't weird to just like randomly walk into somebody's house. It wasn't like a weird thing. You could walk and just just into anybody's house and you were just like invited in. It wasn't like a weird thing. It wasn't like if you went into somebody's house today, they would probably call the cops or something. No, it was like you were welcomed into any house. But you did have like your own house. So I'm in my house and I'm in my bathroom and I'm sitting in a chair. I'm sitting in a chair. And... um. Yeah, I'm sitting in this chair in the bathroom and I'm just like really upset because I can see it's like I could see my family's whole life and every bad or good decision they ever made. And I was in the bathroom and I was just like really upset. I'm like, just like, I'm like, my family, they made some really bad decisions. I'm like, why couldn't they have made better decisions? And I'm like really mad. I remember I was just like really sad and unhappy. I think I even punched the mirror. Like I was just really sad and unhappy. And then I remember I'm just saying to myself, I'm like, why couldn't they have made better decisions? You know, like, I'm really mad at the decisions they made. So then this girl walks up. She's like six, maybe seven. And um, she tries to calm me down. 
She's like, hey, it's okay. This is this is like her exact word. She's like, hey, it's okay. She's like, everybody probably lost someone. And I'm just trying to talk to her. And I'm like, yeah, but I just really wish they would have made better decisions. And she's trying to comfort me. And she's like, yeah, but she's like, everybody probably lost someone. And she's just trying to tell me there's like nothing we can do about it. And she's just like, everybody probably lost someone. And I did not realize this until I woke up and I told my sister the dream. I did not realize this, but the girl I was talking to really looked like my sister and the person and and her boyfriend, the one she's having baby with. They really looked like her. And I'm like, Maddie, I believe that that was your baby that was talking to me. But she was like older. Because like I said, she was like six or seven already. But I'm like, I believe that was her. Because it really looked like it looked like them. Like if they had a child together, it looked like them. And I feel like I should draw her. And besides drawing her, I have something I really want to draw. I was playing, because I tell so many dreams on here, I was thinking about drawing what angels look like in my dreams. Because I talk about angels and stuff, and I see them in my dreams, and I feel like I should tell, like draw for y'all what they look like, and then I can show it to y'all. I really plan to do that, because that sounds really cool. Um, But yeah, it's just like, that dream was really something. If you get anything from that dream, you're more than welcome to comment below. Um, but yeah, that dream was really something, and that was the most recent one I had. If I have any other ones, I, of course, plan to upload those on here. But that dream was really cool. I believe, I feel like that dream was just really cool, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I guess, bye for now.